I'm sufficiently worried about the state of Florida, given its low enough vaccination rate. Doctors getting worried about the rise in hospitalizations among those who did not get the vaccine. Now hospitals are making changes. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Local hospitals are once again starting to restrict visitors. Health First in Brevard County says starting tomorrow, hospitals will not accept visitors for COVID-19 patients unless they are dying or giving birth. At HCA Healthcare, they've revised their policy to one visitor per patient. And Advent Health is now on code yellow status. That means employees and visitors are now required to wear masks in non-clinical areas and they are deferring elective surgeries. New Six's Troy Campbell is live at Advent Health in Orlando taking a look at the new changes and what this all means, Troy. Yeah, Lisa and Matt here at Advent Health Orlando. The hospital had been operating under its business as normal status for the past several months, but now the hospital says COVID-19 patients are being hospitalized at a quicker rate than ever before during the pandemic. Now, health officials are urging for more people to get vaccinated in order to prevent overwhelming the healthcare system. Myself, I had a niece who had a baby during the COVID-19 pandemic, and unfortunately, we couldn't go visit her in the hospital. Jeremy Lanier with the Florida Department of Health in Osceola County, saying with just more than 60% of the county vaccinated, there's still thousands of people unprotected, putting themselves at a higher risk for contracting and being hospitalized with COVID-19. Remember those times when we were in lockdown? Remember those times when we weren't able to visit loved ones? Uh, remember those times where hospital workers and people who provided health care to our community were experiencing unprecedented levels of anxiety. Advent Health Orlando moving back to yellow status after more than 700 COVID-19 patients have been hospitalized, nearing their record of 900 back in January. The change means deferred scheduling of new elective inpatient procedures and more restrictive visitor policy, and once again, requiring masks in non-clinical spaces. It's best that we all wear masks because even though we're vaccinated, there still can be some breakthrough cases and there's still the possibility of transmissions. Health First in Brevard County, citing an increase in COVID-19 cases, announcing starting Friday, patients will only be allowed one visitor at a time and no one under the age of 18 will be allowed in. With the majority of patients not vaccinated, Lanier says Osceola County is working to encourage more people to get the shot. Our goal is to make sure that we provide education to our community that will allow those who haven't been vaccinated uh, the opportunity to make up their mind. And at this hospital, non-COVID patients will be allowed two visitors per day. And of the 700 COVID-19 patients they have, Advent Health says 95% of them have never received a vaccine. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you.